name is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video I'm going to be discussing different aspects of jazz music. I'm going to be sharing with you some live performances to give us some examples of my discussion, and I'm also going to be talking about some of the historical aspects of jazz music. <laughs> was the Oak Ridge Middle School Jazz Ensemble under the direction of John Rossenbottom performing Canal Street Commotion by Mike Carubia. Jazz is America's true art form with its roots in blues and ragtime. This unique musical genre originated in New Orleans, Louisiana in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Jazz was a fusion of traditional and popular musical styles at the time combined with West African cultural and musical expression. The characteristics of jazz music include swing and blue notes, call and response vocals, polyrhythms, and improvisation. The Second Line Jazz Band has its traditions in West African circle or ring dances. Second Line Parades are still used in New Orleans, Louisiana for wedding processionals as well as funeral processionals. <laughs> Jazz improvisation is the spontaneous invention of the melodic solo lines or accompaniment parts within a piece of music. Improvisation is the defining element of jazz music, and it is basically composing music right on the spot. Here's an excellent example of improvisation in action. Here's Dino's Orchestra. <laughs>
The next musical example includes some of our own Doctors Charter School students, Ashley Dosant and Giovanni Sims, some of Doctors Charter School's most finest graduates. Ashley Dosant will be performing on the flute and Giovanni Sims will be performing on the drums. This jam session is a part of the Adrian Arsh Center's Jazz Roots program, which is held throughout the school year. The clinician is Miss Nicole Yarling from Florida Memorial University in Miami, Florida. The students in this musical example are going to be rehearsing Sea Jam Blues by Duke Ellington. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to see an inside look at a rehearsal of students taking a melody and rehearsing it and doing something spontaneous with their improvisational skills. As you can see, learning jazz music isn't necessarily the easiest thing for some students to learn how to do. It takes a lot of good listening, nonverbal communication, and rehearsal to really get it right to make a performance successful. Um, Alright, can I hear it? Can you hear the horn? One, two, one, two, three, four.
Museum in New Orleans, Louisiana. This performing group is called a Hammond Trio, and that's because it's named after the Hammond organ. It usually consists of a guitarist, a drummer, and someone playing the Hammond organ. This recording of a Hammond Trio is rare because we have a violinist replacing the guitarist. The violinist in this video is Molly Ducost. Charlie Dunard is playing the Hammond organ, and he was a student of the late Ellis Marsalis. The drummer in this video is Hunter Miles Davis. <laughs>
next musical example is performed by the Spruce Creek 12 o'clock jazz band under the direction of Robert Bosma. The piece that they're going to be performing is the Vine Street Rumble composed by Benny Carter. This piece exemplifies a great period of time in jazz music which is called the Swing Era. This type of jazz music was very popular during the 1930s and 40s. Its name came from the swing feel, where the emphasis is on the offbeat or weaker pulse in the music. Swing bands usually featured soloists who would improvise on the melody over the arrangement. Danceable swing style of big bands and band leaders such as Benny Goodman was a dominant form of the American popular music from 1935 to 1946. This was the period known in jazz music as the swing era.
This is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to this channel and have a great day.